Welcome to day one of our new Ark Survival Evolved Ascended Ultra Realism series. My guy's looking the wrong way. He's a little slow, but he's into it. Oh, it's even weirder when he's looking right at you. Plastic sex doll idiot. Okay, the spirit behind this series, like the theme we're going with, is the all uh, every bit of extreme realism. Be it like creature mods, like decoration mods, suit mods, anything. There's so much crazy realism being added to this game that a whole series had to be built around it. Pretty freaking beautiful. So leave a like, subscribe if you guys want to join the adventure. Yes, we're still going to finish our other series. We're like into it enough now to where I feel like I can handle two of them. So leave a like on the video uh, down below to join the adventure. I'm so distracted by these freaking butterflies. I don't know what kind of gather rates or like experience rates or stuff like that Crisco added to this server. But this is how we find out. He's going to join us in a minute in typical Crisco fashion. I'm pretty sure he's off taking a piss right now. Look at these beautiful bastards. This dude is 65% ass and I love it. That's fantastic. A female protoceratops. Oh, sweet, dude. It's passive. Thank God. Praise the creator. I haven't played Ascended in like a couple months. I'm getting freaking culture shock right now. All right. I'm going to be here for the next 10 minutes. But look at the size of that butt. What's even the evolutionary advantage to that? Does it fall off and regrow like a gecko? Is it for attracting mates? There's no way this helps with predators. Unless it does somehow. It's actually going pretty quick. I like that. That's one thing we usually have typically high in these series is just taming stuff. Because, I don't know, it's like the files are freaking like 200 gigabytes when you got to stand here for an hour taming. Oh, it's way quicker than I thought. I'm going to love the shit out of you in all the best ways. I can't be saying that to an animal. There's no photographic evidence for like 20 million years, little man. Where are you? I thought you said you saw me. I, I thought I did. God damn it. Um, I'm at the spawn I told you. I forgot its name, the top, the topper. I'd come find you, but I'm passive taming the most voluptuous creature right now. The deed is done. A late Cretaceous creature of the herbivore. Temperament skittish. I'm looking at little, little geckos. I could probably use this creature to find you, to be honest, because I've noticed it's a fruit gatherer. <laughs> a fruit gatherer. <laughs> oh, God. Better. I think I need to be level 23 to get a saddle for this creature. So until then, it shall just be a mutual friendship. Probably what it's going to remain the whole time. Are you even actually good for anything? I mean, it's got 4,000 health and it's a passive tame right on the beach when you spawn. That seems pretty good. I hope I can make it. If that whale shows up, I'm going to crap myself. The hell's this? The Ember Vein Draconic Essence? Oh, yeah, you need those. You need those. Talk about realism. <laughs> yeah, so you're going to have to do, like, the, the dragon one you got. Yeah, I'm sure the dragons looks hella complex. Upon seeing the potions, I realized what I stepped into. I'm going to focus yeah. on a bowler hat and some starter stuff. Augment Station? Oh. Oh, sweet. The gecko also passive tames from Perry's. I'm collecting a freaking band of lovable characters right now. You are. It's pretty great. Having trouble okay. finding rocks, funny enough, though, because there's nothing but rocks all around me. This dude is so adorable. Freaking, oh, I keep forgetting to mention in all my videos consistently. I'll mention it in a, in a different intro, but um, just so it's in an intro. But Cyrus, the dude who made this mod and the dude who made the spider mod is yeah. doing a fundraiser currently for a dragon mod that looks a lot like Night Fury from that dragon movie so i'm gonna put the link down below i need to mention it in the beginning of a video also because he makes some adorable beautiful stuff and i feel like that'd be so great to have that oh that is amazing all right so i've got two very lovable crew muppets what do you got going on oh shit there's another one they're just gonna be everywhere aren't they oh there's another one of these you can replicate the happiness i have created so easily if you get a well, rock let me know i got rocks yeah for some reason i can't gather rocks on the beach Oh, weird. Hang on. This is the prettiest gecko I'm pretty sure I'll ever see in my life. I am a freaking fanatic for, like, hot pink. I know it's typically a more feminine color. This is the most beautiful color in the whole freaking world. Get off of me, you swine. Dude, I've got, like, 100 rocks already. I don't know why I can't gather rocks. It's pissing me off. This dude's also a lot harder to get. Look at them coloring the white and freaking pink. Oh, my God. Black and pink is, like, the peak color combo, but this is easily a top three. Anything happens to this beautiful pink-eyed gecko, I'm gonna flip a tit. Yeah, don't flip tit. I'm gonna crap a tail right now. I'm almost there. Nope, nope, it's shift. Oh, it happened. And then we can just eat it. Freaking road snacks. 
What an amazing see, little creature. There's a green gecko on the beach right here. Well, that's ass. It becomes a frog. I'm swimming across the open part of the horseshoe. This is almost certain death. I'm just seeing a lot more fish and not really any megalodons. Plus, I have these two people back here to sacrifice if the sharks come. Anything to save my pink eyed gecko. I should name it Rim, Rim Job because it's got pink eyes. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I see Wait, you also. You? Yeah, it is me. Go back, go back, go back. We'll go to the shark. What's going on, buddy? There we go. Damn it, I'm so pissed because realistically, that's like the, the best possible name for this creature. What do you guys think down below? Oh, now I can pick up rocks just fine. Son of a bitch. I've been spamming E on these beaches for like <laughs> half an hour. And now you're here. That's, that's and now the rocks work. Now the rocks work. That's so frustrating. Bingo wings. All right, let's get cooking. This is a good place to make a. I mean, it's the center. It's not. There's some. Actually, there's some beautiful places. Oh, dude, to you make stole my stuff. What happened? Well, little, little. He walked his friends towards you. Go get him, man. I'm setting my 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 stuff. Okay, I'm ready for this. Get him. Nope, didn't work. Oh, he got more, dude. How's he getting more stuff off you? I don't know. I should team up with him. Right? <laughs> Why did you hit me? You're definitely hitting me. Oh! oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I think you were just kill me. Oh, you're just, just, you're just asleep. I thought you were dead. No, I'm definitely dead. Oh, oh my God. What, oh my God, why I spawn here? What would happen? Oh. Yo, at least dude, never I, could eat you. Chris, I don't mean to be that guy, but you gotta get your poop together, man. You, you, what? You just murdered me. <laughs> yeah, but like, who gets murdered? Skill issue, you, to be honest. Get, we're on the same team. <laughs> I'm not supposed to worry about getting killed by my own team. That was all over four narco berries. That's all he stole from you. Oh, is that all he got? <laughs> Damn it. Dude. <laughs> no. No, the answer is no. I still didn't deserve that. <laughs> All right, looks like we've got a lot of sand draconic essence. It's one of those, one of those mods. Detailed extravaganza. Right, you know one of back. those stone knives you were trying to make? I just made one, bro. Yeah, because I had supplies on me. You did. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was just four metals. It's not like you gave me the, the Dude, key the to Pego King stole, You know what? I don't care. I don't care what Pego stole this time. I don't care. I did stomp him also. Okay, we need to make shelter. Oh, there's a dragon in the sky. There's several dragons in the sky. Oh, you bastard attacking me? Looks like we're going to need a base. I'm going to die right now from this freaking bird. Dude, I'm working on getting stuff to make weapons to kill the bird. I'm a, yes, I've defeated it. Holy hell. All right. That was my that conquest was for the day. Yeah, that was, that was a big one. Holy, holy crap. I was like, dude, we can make a temple. And then the Zipper Kaiju, I got super disappointed. It's still a temple. It is a temple. It is true. You heathen. It only takes, it only takes stone to make it. Well, yeah, just like most temples, I'd imagine. Well, I, guess, I guess you're right. What do you think temples are made out of? I don't bring it Adamantium. Know. Time to craft and grind and grow until we've got enough to make a saddle for our thick ass little buddy over here. You Dude, we scamp. Can make a, we can make a Thor's hammer monument. That's pretty cool. And if you pull out Thor's hammer, you get powers. What the hell? Is that a mod? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, what has happened, dude? I just haven't played this for like two months. It's crazy. Yeah. You're like, dude, I can get Thor's hammer and get powers. Like, I don't have to be faster than the dinosaurs. I just have to be faster than you. <laughs> oh, God. All right. <laughs> it's like trying to configure these, these stuff. Yeah, and it says keeps you warm while providing a boost to your swimming speed. Yeah, it sounds pretty amazing. It sounds like what Atlanteans wear to bed. We definitely need to. It, you look like an Atlantean. What? I got a, what's it called? Oh, C sea scale. F. Holy shit. We need sea scales look... and sea grass. That's phenomenal. Dude, you seen that? Yeah. I... See, I added on. all the ultra realism mods. That's what I'm talking about. Basically, just every ocean. crazy mod yeah, that is in an overhaul. I believe in you, I'm man. Looking... Go get us some freaking sea stuff. Like what, where do you get sea scales from? I don't know, man. You just ran in the ocean like a mermaid to go find us sea scales. I believe in you. I, I legitimately believe you're going to come back out of there. I don't think <laughs> I'm getting out of here. Well, at least find seagrass. Seagrass sounds very easy to locate. 
It's just seagrass, for God's sakes. Well, so far, all I've gotten is a lot of, uh... Wow, that's not what I expected to get out of the ocean floor. What the hell's going on down there? I got thatch. Thatch? Lame the ass adventure. Floor. Go back. Are you kidding me? Nope. I got I got thatch. The memory of this shall kill all erections on my wedding night. We've now donned our first oh. creature. Good job. Right, well, I just came this Pego. Dude, check this magnificent beast out. Watch when it turns around. Ba Boom. What is up with butt? All right, pretty magnificent. It's a like really a... cool looking creature. It really goes with the Western vibe, I feel like. I don't, I don't know about that. I don't even know what that attack does. That my right click just shakes itself violently. Whoa, Did... no, there I was charging. I Dude, think that was amazing. it warming up a charge. It just looked absolutely ridiculous. That's absolutely what it was. It does take a while to, to get, holy shit. Wow, that was nuts. Wait, why is there a female dodo following? I don't know, man. Maybe he likes you. She? Oh, I love these things. There's noises, too. It's a good mod. Yeah. Hey, these things are passive. You should find one on the beach and pass the payment so we could uh, ski out of the way it? on, what, what on vehicles. It? Wow, that's so beautiful. <laughs> this kind of stuff is what I'm talking about. It's like my favorite kind of mod. Just like barely even modded. It's just something that should be in the game already and just like amazing in every way. While our gecko's tail grows back. I'm so sorry for this name, but really the only way to get that severe pink eye for your entire life is to have your face, to have your eyeballs within the vicinity of fecal matter. It's, it's, it's science. I didn't make the rules. Like, you, you have to? You know what's crazy is that amount of pink eye right next to me would have some very horrible effects also. Oh, it's I found the life one. us cowboys shoes. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, we should just head over to some epic area that we can get started on at least a mini base now. Now that we're both mobile, because I want to get started on this medieval smithy and this kind of beautiful stuff. There's so many amazing mods. Zilla. Zilla Shrine. There's Zilla Temple. I love the concept of Zilla being worshipped. They could have done so much more with that movie. Whoa, this healing potion works on miners. We should send it to Dr. Disrespect. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, it's called a minor healing potion. Taking this stupid knife out of my hot bar. It looks like edgy as hell, but damn is it useless. It's serving no pro purpose. All right, it's time to head off on my creature into the night to go find whatever the hell happened to Crisco. Yeah, dude, it's not going great at all, man. Like, I, I keep taming Pegos and they keep running away. Yeah, I think you're, I think, um, I don't know. <laughs> Dude, like, they're, they're just stealing all my gaming food. I don't even want to sprint down the beach. I'm walking at this thing's default speed because it really adds to, like, the je ne sais quoi. I feel like I'm actually a, a, a cowboy p pirate outlaw sheriff. It's like the most contradictory things ever, but that's what video games are for, is for imagining what you want to be. <laughs> We've been traveling all night and haven't located him yet. There appears to be a dragon up ahead. Crisco, did you go the way with the dragon? I passed one of these to get to your ass over here by the dragon. Yeah. It's... You made it more difficult, didn't you? Well, dragons are passive. They don't hurt anybody. Oh, the dragons are passive? Okay. Then I'm, then I'm... Yeah, yeah. They're, they're peaceful dragons. Then I do not care any longer. Oh, and I see you taming that thing up there. It seems like you started taming two different ones. Yeah, because I kept getting attacked by stuff. <laughs> Passive dragons, hippie dragons. Those are not my favorite kind of dragons. Maybe there's some that are also very hostile. Hola. Damn, that Ooh. bird is eating your freaking pego, bro. That's I know, insane. man. Like, it's so bad, dude. Like, nothing's working out like it's supposed to. I honestly didn't even know that a seagull could steal your pego and eat it in the sky. Like, I did, I, I did not realize that was a possibility. That's actually quite crazy. Yep. I feel like I can handle these copies to go for it. You gotta be brave in this world. Damn, that was nuts. Oh my god, dude. What? Random things is cute. Uh, uh. <laughs> and, then the, and then my taming stuff runs away. The dragon's getting a little close. He, he's got that freaking, uh, what's that? That dust, that, that witch that kidnapped children. Tinkerbell. He's got that Tinkerbell dust coming off him. It's actually one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in my life. I don't mean to brag, Crisco, but things are going pretty great for me right now. How's it going for you? Oh, it's not great. I know. Now we watch the sunsets on our second day in this beautiful world. 
I'm already pretty happy with my tanks. I can call the quits here. This, this is winning as far as I care. Well, good for you. <laughs> this is the end of the series and the beginning. Comparison is the thief of joy. Find something that makes you happy and simple and stick with it. A creature could actually hold a lot. So I'm going to start stacking resources on this bad boy. So once we get to our house, we have a life to build together. Oh, 560 dialer. Why did I even start this fight? They got this thing hit so consecutively that other things don't even have a chance. Because if this thing gets a chance to hit back, this is going to suck the balls. Dude, you would get shaken baby syndrome as a full-grown man from riding on top of one of these things as it sprints. By the time you get home, someone would have to be wiping your butt for you. Absolutely. Oh, okay, let's go find a base so I can get some ingots going so I can make a car for this bad boy. All right, into the ruins. I think we should make our base in the first ruin spots. Like where our first base was in docks, in our old docks. Oh, hell yeah, let's go. Waiting for you, sugar tits. I guess they're not the fastest swimmers, but he is kind of, it's like a really well animated creature. Those little feet are really kicking hard. I feel like we're faster than megalodons, which is really all that matters. And then even if we're not, I feel like I'm slightly faster than you. So like, yeah, I'm not too worried. <laughs> Careful, soon we'll be somewhere where, um, where there's things that want to kill us. If things get crappy, all right, I'm going to go to this one over here now. If things get crappy, I say we both just book into the ruins and, like, just meet up there. Like, if shit all goes right. south, just... Oh, God. Carnivorous fish. The carnivorous fish. Oh, shit. I think he's, I like, like... Yeah, it's a big-ass fish right next to us. It's actually getting pretty oh. good. Oh, God, big fish. Dude, oh, that God, was glowing oh. back there. That's amazing. Oh. Yeah, you're oh, gonna oh, want to hustle. Me. Yeah, you're gonna want to move. Move! <laughs> All the... Oh my Why god. Me? All the water flopping around back there looks so scary. All right. From here, it should be pretty easy. I see you no longer wait. Oh, look. <laughs> just up on that rock. Do you feel safe up there, Crisco? I oh, see. Oh no, there's another big fish. All right, I'm gonna go down the left side. Oh my god, something is thrashing around and they're huge. So intimidating, bro. Oh my oh. god! What the hell was that? <laughs> oh my god, I just whatever it was just killed whatever that was. So was doing some serious splashing back there. Shit, dude, these piranha are right on my cheeks. Man, this giant dangly tail is such a downside for predators. It's, it's like bait. It is like bait. There's a huge creature over there in the water I'm very curious about. Why did I come up here? This is horrible. I know where I am. Oh, yeah, it's the center. I hope you know where you oh, are. Oh, no! No! Uh-oh. No! Oh. A baryonyx. That's so brutal. That must have been what was splashing back there. Damn, dude. They say only 50% oh. of people survive these kinds of massive quests. That's crazy. Now you've got two options. You can try and get back here, or I can just go put a bed down at the ruins. Oh, well, try to call my, my thing. Well, I don't really want to go back near the Baryonyx. He's going to do the same exact shit to me as the thing. Look, I'm just going to get this bed put down, and then I'm going to rush back and help. But we need to at least get, like, fortified, or we need to get, like, a flag down in a spot. We're going to lose a few things along the way to make this happen, but as long as it happens. <laughs> What's crazy is this place looks so different that I legitimately passed it up. Yeah, and you know what's crazy is all the crystal that's in there. That is pretty sweet. Everything looks like a Pirates of the Caribbean attraction. I freaking love it so much. I know, it's all crazy looking good now. Oh, uh, like, it's beautiful do in here. All right. Day one, and we already got some pretty awesome tames. Pretty beautiful base location. I was guessing all fairness, every part of this game is a beautiful base location. Look at us! Look at Victorious! This is actually the sexiest place for a fire. No, 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 no. This is where I want to look victoriously over. Because there are some very scary monstrous mods in this, but they're just... Oh, I forgot to turn my camera back on. But they're just creatures. Like, there's no... There's no King Kong gods walking around ready to just, like, ruin our lives or something. It's much... Much, uh, much easier. So, like, I could actually stare out the window in this series instead of living in a freaking cave hole like we, uh... Like we do in our other worlds, which 
sucks a lot of butt cheeks. I'm putting a storage box down in the middle. I'm gonna start filling it up with stuff. We should probably go medieval, right? Yes. Oh, hell yeah. Actually, there's a few different um, building mods in here. So I guess we'll just take it by whatever looks pretty each episode. It's just such a great berry gather and it's such a great transportation and it's adorable. I love everything about this. And he loves fine fruit, apparently. This map is so different. It's insane how different it is. I don't even recognize it. And I literally played on it yesterday in regular arc. Crazy. These arc no, devs, man, they know what they're doing. They do a lot of dumb, weird crap and they refuse to acknowledge a lot of the blatant issues. But then they go and do shit like this. So you just forgive them for a little bit. They're like the perfect toxic relationship. Okay, now I've got the metal going. Nice. So pretty. There really is, like, honestly, over maybe 50 creatures. Definitely going to add as many awesome ones as we see, too. There's no limit to the nonsense we're going to pump into this series. But there's actually a whole lot of stuff we got to do. And we got to get to freaking work, dude. Bro, Chris here has been peeing for a while. I, I worry about him sometimes. Or I just suspect that he sits down when he pees. I don't know what's worse. I want to make sure these trees back here grow forever. I need to never be too harsh on them. Just being able to, even if we have bajillions of wood and it's never an issue again in our lives, it's just so nice just stepping out. I feel like we industrialize too fast as a people. Living more primitive and off the land just always feels so much cooler. Oh, sweet. No, we still need a cementing paste. I can now just put a freaking platform behind these, these amazing donkeys of ours. I guess I should go get started on that now. I do want a cart. But is it like the most important thing? No, it's not. Damn it. It's like pretty, pretty, actually we do need it because we're going to need to run resources back and forth. It's a pretty important thing. I'm realizing it's, it's something that we are going to need. So I'm going to go on a run up to the river to get some cementing paste. I'm going to leave our little buddy whose name haunts me still to this day over here while I do it just because in case stuff goes wrong, he's important to me. His name is subject to change. It's a horrible name. It's just the worst name in the whole world. But it's, it's so fitting, but he still means a lot to me. Or she. I don't know. I don't check gender. I'm not a sexist like that. Wait, is there usually a staircase here? Forgetting everything. To be honest, we probably have a much better chance getting there on our protoceratops. Now that I think about it. Ooh, what's this? A freaking medieval style bed. It's like cooler somehow. It's less comfortable. There it is. So far, we've got the street oh, lights. Hey. The cobblestone. What's going on, buddy? Just making Yo. a bed really quick. So I'm about to go run down to the beavers to try and get some cementing paste. I'm going to put the bed right here. It's subject to change, but I just feel like the initial concept of just freaking laying down here. You know what I mean? Like, would be so great. Yeah. All right, wish me luck, buddy. I'm going to go get us some cementing paste. Actually, I'm dying luck. right now. No! Oh, God! What'd you do? Nothing. Just freaking raptors. Scared the hell out of me. There's some more of our voluptuous buddies down here. I'm so happy how commonly these things spawn all over the place. Ooh, this one's like white and orange. It looks like... For oh, and it's got a baby! Two babies! I was gonna tame it, but clearly it's needed more in nature. And it looks like a freaking orange creamsicle. Like, that's the colors. Oh, shit! That's one of those big bugs. Are those passive or hostile? You know what? I got too much metal on me to find out right now. A raptor's up here killing a turtle. Careful, Crisco. There's hostile entities around here at the gates. Enemies at the door. This thing has way too many freaking spears in it, bro. What the hell? Oh, my God. Nonsense. Oh, what a fancy little shindig you got going on in here, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on it. Looking fancy as hell. This medieval stuff really is beautiful. I was worried it was going to be too gloomy because the medieval times were quite the gloomy era, but like combined with the beautiful innards of this cave is... Oh, yeah, my shit. Yeah, I don't think this looks bad at all, actually. Crap, dude. I can't find my stuff. Wait, oh, I, no. I was knocked into here, I believe. It's so lush terrain around here. You can't see anything. It is, man. It's like crazy lush terrain, dude. It's super freaking lushy. I've lost everything. I guess it didn't have that much on me, but it's more just insulting that I know it's like right here, but I can't see it. Well, like several hundred bananas later. 
it's gone forever, man. Whatever. It's not like I had that much stuff going for me. It's more just like upsetting. Wait! Yeah. No, that was the crap I just dropped a second ago. I'm living bags all over the place, making it so much harder for myself. Whatever. You win some, you lose some. At least on the upside, we get plenty of bananas. Actually, pretty happy about all these fruits. I might just stick to... No, I threw out all the other fruit to make room for the freaking narco berries. Whatever. At least we've got the bananas. The Lord giveth banana and the Lord taketh away banana. Lord taketh banana. I never got all the metal back. I died when I had all those resources. I just realized, oh God. No! Oh, I ran past him. Yes. God bless these things. Stubby little legs are the hardest working things in showbiz since like Danny DeVito. The, the freaking micro raptor closed in on me. No. That was great. No. This sucks so much right now. Whoa. No. No. The camera shut off. I didn't notice. I was paying attention. Back. I mean, it could be worse. No, my buddy's dead. My creature is dead out there. He's for sure dead. There's no recovering him. He's gone now. Well, the good thing is they're easy to take. He's with the ancestors. Yeah, I guess it wasn't like it wasn't meant to be. It wasn't a chosen colors one like the like my buddy over here, my gecko, who I'm going to put inside. I guess every episode or every intro is not without loss. Never mind. He's going right in the floor. I'm picking him up. Whoa, it's a paleo rex right from our window door. <clears throat> Bedroom window. That's what I meant to say. It's beautiful out here. What a beautiful world. Dragons and T-Rexes. Standing did in the you, deep did water. Did you name a lizard rim job? But he's got pink eye. And on the note of the death of my buddy, I need to go eat to recharge. I lost all my bananas. I lost my freaking metal. I lost my buddy. I lost my uh, my my hey, poly. I've, I've lost everything. All right, so this is a good place to end today's episode. For next episode, we get into dirty ball slapping adventure. Leave a like, subscribe. Whoa, hang on. There we go. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>